Good afternoon. Uh, first, I just want to, you know, uh, send our condolences and, and our thoughts and prayers, uh, you know, to uh, the University of Virginia, uh, as well as their football staff and uh, players and family, uh, their community, uh, you know, over this uh, really, really bad tragedy. So, uh, you know, they have our thoughts and prayers. And uh, if there's anything we can do, we talk to, you know, a lot of people over there. We have some, uh, you know, formal players, you know, Anthony Johnson, who played for us here, uh, is there. Talked to him last night as well as today. Uh, you know, and then I know a couple coaches over there as well. So uh, we're just praying for those guys and just, uh, you know, hoping that uh, they can find peace, uh, you know, with what's going on uh, over there right now. But uh, just uh, our thoughts and prayers go to those guys. Being senior day, you've got a, a, a group on your side of the ball that have meant a lot to this program. It's kind of speak on on those guys and then maybe specifically on on Yasir and what his career has been like yeah well you know I'll start I'll start with him you know uh, you know coming in uh, here in 2019 uh, and you got this uh, kid that they said that can run you know run with the best of them and uh, uh, but he's a linebacker and you know he's trying to figure out is he an inside he's an outside guy and uh, you know he he we, we put him at outside and he just uh, <laughs> he just flourished. Uh, and he took it head on, you know, his assignment, uh, you know, to uh, for him to get bigger, faster, and stronger in the weight room. And um, just his attitude, man, I just, you know, enjoy his attitude each and every day. No matter the circumstances, he's hard on himself. Uh, you know, he wants to be a perfectionist. And, uh, you know, I just I just love seeing him grow uh, from the time we got here from 19 until now. Um, and he's just, uh, he's just been a tremendous part of this program. Um, and you go to, you know, up front, Yaya Diaby, uh, you know, coming in from GMC uh, Community College. And, uh, you know, seeing his growth, uh, his maturation uh, from the time he's gotten here as well. And, and his leadership skills has, has, has gone through the roof since he's gotten here as well. So, um, you know, and then, of course, his on the field performance speaks for itself. So, um, you know, going to miss Yaya, um, you know, then, you know, a guy that we've, had less than a year, who's really turned this defense uh, into a, a, a really special defense in Momo Sonogo. Um, you know, uh, this guy is, I mean, he is exactly what you want at middle linebacker. I wish I had his butt for four years, you know. Um, he's just a great human being, number one, uh, you know, but an also a student of the game. I mean, he probably spends more hours watching film with the football staff with us uh, with his, uh, you know, practice from the night before, from, the, from that day, uh, or just coming in there watching the next morning, you know, of the opponent with us. Uh, you, don't, you don't find that often, you know, in, in many different universities, uh, football programs. Uh, but he's just a, a great kid, a great human being. Uh, Monty, uh, you know, Monty's been amazing. Uh, you know, he went through that injury last year, uh, and I think he, now he's kind of getting a little bit, uh, you know, more confident within that knee with how he's playing. Um, so I, I'm, uh, we're gonna miss him. Uh, we're gonna miss walking down the halls or even here in the in the in the D D room. Him talking a little noise, you know, here and there, uh, being loud, you know, that's just being money. Uh, but we're gonna miss him for sure, um, you know. And then in the back end, uh, you think about Kendrick Duncan, who's done a great deal for this program in the last year and a half. Uh, has, has been, you know, great for us, and uh, think he'll be able to see the field this week. He's he's back healthy a good bit. Uh, you know, and, and then you you got some guys that, that are at corner that you don't know what's going to happen with those guys, whether it's Trey Clark, you know, whether he goes to the NFL or Jarvis Brownlee as well. Those guys have done a, a really good job for us. So, um, going to miss those seniors. They meant a lot to us. Uh, they helped build this foundation of where we are right now. Uh, you know, going to three uh, bowl games in four years since we've been here, I think that's a, a really good feat from where we came from, uh, you know, since we got here. Uh, so we're we're gonna miss those guys, but we love them to death, and uh, you know can't wait to go out and finish the season on the right note. Coach. Oh, and Chandler Jones, God, Demarty, how can I forget about Chandler Jones? I mean, a guy who started basically for three years, you know, for us at corner, and uh, you know, and knows his role now because of what we're doing defensively, and has come in and stepped in and played the nickel spot as well as a safety spot, and is probably. I mean, he could he could really be a captain right now with the way he's he's leading the team. He's talking defensively. He's coming to the sideline, making adjustments, drawing things up for the guys on the board. He's like a coach, you know, and 
and, and he's not pouting because he's not playing. You don't you don't see that a lot. You know, this kid is is has accepted his role and is starring in his role really really well. And and so uh, I'm I'm gonna miss him, miss him for sure. That's that's my guy, uh, Chandler Jones. So we're gonna miss him for sure. When it comes to Yasir, uh, we've seen him rush the passer, but the play in the pits with that interception, I mean, is that did that I even like kind of make you stand up and be like, <laughs> I, I mean, he's 25 yards down the field, he's running right with the guy. Yeah, uh, and, and that goes back to my first statement about Yasir, about him being able to run. Um, you know, I think this this off season, you know, with some really good training, him getting ready to go to the combine, he he will probably run a low four three, maybe a low four four. He can really really run. Uh, so it did not surprise me, you know, with him, um, you know, running with the receiver, a fast receiver at that, uh, you know, and making a play on the ball, you know, and, you know, and that's why we as a staff, you know, uh, said, hey, could we do these certain type things with him, you know, and we can. Uh, some guys you can't because of their ability, uh, but you can do so many different things with Yasir. Um, you know, he has a very, very bright future ahead of him, um, you know, and, and he's going to do very well at the next level. Uh, but I think, you know, these next three games are going to be really, really big for him uh, to finish strong, and uh, and I think he will. To, to keep it on Yassir, when he's in here talking, he's very thoughtful and kind of quiet. Uh, it's hard to hear him sometimes. When he's on the field, uh, does he flip a switch? Is he more um, outspoken, or, or is that the way he also plays? Uh, he's, he's still a little quiet, Rick. He's still a little quiet, um, but – uh, you you'll see you hear y'all see every now and then he he will speak up and and, and speak his mind to the guys, uh, but you know even when he makes a play he doesn't scream he doesn't yell uh, he does his little dance with ya ya, uh, but he's very soft spoken as well uh, even on the football field uh, he just lets his uh, his play speak for itself and uh, you know that's what you like in a coach uh, you want some emotion he shows some but he's just a quiet kid that just does his job. Brian, how much different are they offensively with Morris at quarterback now? Uh, a lot more quarterback run game, uh, a lot more, and uh, a lot more read game as well. Um, you know, there's still, you know, when you think about just true handoffs to the running back, it's, it's still the same as it was with uh, with Leary. And, uh, you know, but a lot more quarterback run game. Um, passing game, you know, it, it's, it's basically about the same. You know, they want to. I think keep it simple for him and not put a whole lot on a true freshman, but he's a really good quarterback that has a really strong arm. Uh, and it's amazing some of the things he's done uh, so far this season uh, being a true freshman, you know. And uh, so hats off to those guys for doing a great job with him. As, as a quick follow-up, you, you guys are used to Leary throwing the ball all over the park. Your players prepare for that. I mean, do you have to hammer that home because they've faced this team for the last couple of years and it's been the same thing? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you, you have to do a great job with this group uh, of stopping the run. And they do a great job up front. The offensive line is a veteran group uh, that moves really well. Probably one of the most athletic groups that we've faced so far this season. Um, so we do have to hammer home that, hey, this is not, you know, your typical seven on seven, uh, you know, with, you know, NC State at times uh, with certain down and distances. Uh, but, you know, you have to stop the run. We have to do a great job with our eyes, have to do a great job with our run fits, uh, something that we need to, you know, clean up a little bit better than what we did this past weekend that we really done, you know, for over the last four games, really stopped the run a good bit. Uh, so, yes, absolutely, we have to do that. Brian, you mentioned having talking to Anthony a little bit about just what's going on at Virginia. Said I couldn't hear you. Oh, just you mentioned talking to Anthony about what's going on at Virginia mm -hmm. and things. Um, I'm just curious if you had a relationship with Tony Elliott from – you know, when you guys were in the Carolinas together, and I guess just what can you say in that kind of situation? Yeah, well, uh, you know, with just Anthony, I just keep it, uh, you know, private. He just, you know, I just sent my condolences, you know, and, and wanted to check on him first and foremost yesterday as soon as I got word to make sure he was okay. Um, because, you know, myself and Anthony, I thought, you know, we've had a great relationship, you know, even since he's transferred. He texts and calls and FaceTimes and wants to talk with my kids, uh, you know, uh, all the time. So, uh, just wanted to check on him and just make sure he was okay and and uh, you know send send him some you know some good words and and yes I do know Tony personally as well I've reached out to him um, you know but he's you know this is a a tough time for those guys in the program and uh, you know the only thing we can do you know from here is just you know continue to pray for him uh, you know and if there's anything else we can do they they'll let us know thank you.